Hello everybody, my name is Luke Moore and this is Hot Mode and today on Hot Mode we are coming to you with a reaction to another 7 days, 7 looks from Vogue, this time featuring none other than Euphoria's Barbie Ferreira. I'm excited, I'm interested, I think this is going to be fun. Barbie is a fashion girl, she was a model before she ever started Euphoria, but with Euphoria she very much so launched her career both in the acting world and only furthered her modeling appeal. So I'm very excited to watch this. I feel like she has a great style that's very much so defined. She also happens to be a curve model, which is something she's never let sort of get in the way of her being incredibly stylish and incredibly fashionable. So I just think this is gonna be a solid one. But before we get any further into the video, I wanna say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Karma. Karma is an app and Google Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Today's video with Barbie Ferreira shows the wonderful possibilities of dressing with themes in mind. And Karma can help you achieve your dream of costume-centric wardrobes through its many different capabilities. For those looking from pillar to post for brands that not only fit their vibe, but have their size, Karma can help streamline that process as it allows one to have all the pieces their heart desires saved in one place and allows them to be organized by category too. Personally, I haven't been super fashion centric with shopping as of lately, cause I've just moved, hence this. But that's the great thing about Karma too. I can save kitchen appliances like a juicer I'm very desperate to have, to vintage furniture I desperately want but most definitely can't afford, to all kinds of books which I more than likely will never get to but still find necessary to have for research purposes. I can buy or just window shop all in one place thanks to Karma, which you can download by clicking the link in my description box below. While I already have one too many books, Karma always alerts me to the best deals on them, which is why I had to get a Balenciaga book that I saved 33% on, because I mean like 33%, how could I not, you know what I mean? Karma is super easy to download. You just make an account and click on the deep blue circle in the menu and add the extension to your Google Chrome. You then can go on hundreds of websites and save the items on to Karma. For all you luxury lovers, My Teresa and Fendi are on there, as well as The Real Real and eBay for those vintage fans. You'll get notifications about when the items go on sale or come back in stock via email or mobile and you can organize your items into these beautiful lists like mine. We're probably better than my list because they're kind of messy. Karma even has a special feature on Google Chrome desktops that scans the web for coupon codes and will apply them automatically at checkout to help you save money. I also recently found out that if you have a coupon code that Karma doesn't, you can opt to share that with the whole Karma community, which is very cool and nice and like enjoyable too. We're all shopping together. They even launched a cashback feature which allows you to earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retailers. I'm going to use my 2% cash back at Barabee because that weighted blanket is actually very chic and very purposeful and I need it because I don't have a boyfriend. And I've already saved money with it too. So click the link in my description box below to download Karma. So thank you Karma. And with that let's get on to the rest of the video. I'm very excited to see where this goes most definitely. Hi Vogue, this is Barbie Ferreira. Hi Barbie. I'm gonna show you some looks that I wear in a week. We got date night, we got on set. I feel like we're getting a little bit of maybe a Versace robe. I mean, I'm just presuming that's that only because the print is very much so those sort of silk scarves tied together. And also like maybe it could be Balmain, I'm not really sure. But off the top of my head, I think, oh, Versace. Not that in my head I think Versace, but like I could. Also, I feel like we're seeing a little bit of a puddle boot, a nice little Bottega moment. I also feel like there are some furry clogs over there that are Bottega. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I'm seeing off the top of my head that I'm like, oh, I know her. We went to school together. I've been seeing her for years. There's not, or at least nothing that I can see up close and personal, so. We got it all. Let's tune in. Okay, this looks good already. I knew this was gonna be a good one. I knew it, I just knew it in my head. I knew that it was gonna be exciting and fun and different. All right, manye. Okay, so this is my set look. Okay, set. The set should be grateful. The set should be saying, thank you. A little Fendi. Um, yeah. Two piece. This is a look from Resort. It's all marbled and if you know the history of Fendi, there is very much so a experimentation and sort of recreation of marble throughout different sort of formats. Here it's on obviously like a silk pajama set, but it's been done in furs and all of those sorts of different leathers, etc, etc. There's a matching handbag, I think, to this sort of style. I think this is from Resort 2022. And if you look back at 
quite a few Fendi collections, whether it's Sylvia Venturini Fendi or Kim Jones or Karl Lagerfeld, you will see that because Fendi was founded in Rome and Roman marble is very much so a staple sort of export of the city, that's what Fendi references a lot, even down to the fact that where I believe the Fendi headquarters are now is an entire sort of marble building that was built by Mussolini, but I feel like Fendi is, you know, reclaiming the architectural style, but it's made out of marble. So you can see Fendi and marble sort of you know moving together very very well and very much so it's sort of a house code in a way so i'll stop talking about marble now two-piece simon miller bubble clog oh okay simon miller oh it's a melissa oh my god it's a melissa shoe plus simon miller i don't know who simon miller is i apologize simon but melissa the brazilian brand who we love that makes very very cool shoes i like this moment very cool a little marjola bag that i wear almost every day okay a little mark jacobs clip this is of course me being fancy fancy on set Okay, love that. That's a nice, fancy look for an on-set experience, most definitely. Not every day do I wear something as cute as this, but <laughs> you know, we give it a little, a little moment for you guys. Heidi Bivens is the costume designer of Euphoria. Shout out Heidi. Living legend, she's iconic. So a lot of my favorite designers and her favorite designers that we really love will just kind of get like clothes that are more cat-like, but usually it's a very collaborative process. I've literally worn things on the show that were from my closet. Love that, because you know what, that's you putting yourself into the character, which is really, really, really great. I do just want to pause here also because I think the yellow of the shoes plays into the yellow of the silk set. The sort of light wine color of the bag maybe doesn't, but the gold of the bag does. And so like, I think Barbie knows what she's and doing. a lot of it is modeled after oh, and the, what I wear. The earrings, of course, with, like, yeah. within the color palette and within like the character. Shh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Heidi, I'm sorry. I did take the Vivian Westwood corset. <laughs> <gasps> Good for her, as you should. I get it. I feel like people steal shit off of sets all the time. I feel like that's an actor's thing. She hasn't asked for it back, but it is in my house. Usually it just gets put in like what? A costume house or the production company's storage space. So like, you know what? I would say that Barbie is saving the HBO Max production team a little bit of money. So we should all be grateful to her. That's how I'm thinking about this. Honestly, I think it's a nice look. And again, I think a little silky pajama set is actually quite sweet. I think the shoes are different and fun. The bag and the earrings go together pretty, pretty well. Not mad about it. I feel like on set, you're going to change into what your wardrobe look will be for whatever scene you're shooting. They're kind of usually, I don't know, in like sweatpants or like casual clothes. So I feel like this is a fancy cash. A casual. This is my red carpet oh, love that. Great dress. fancy look if I'm trying to dress to impress. Not dress to impress, just dress to press or dress for press. I like dress for press. How my red carpet looks, I first go on Vogue Runway. I don't use Vogue Runway anymore. I now pay to license the images from the runway. I don't want to get sued. I also use it though with like when I'm on the go. You know what I mean? Like I'll just, I have the app so I just open the app and I can swipe through and all that sort of stuff. People are always like, it's so problematic. It's so terrible. It's, the app just like sucks sometimes and it's like, yeah. I get what you're saying. And I go through all of the shows. I pick things that I really like. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably head over to Pinterest or to one of my saved albums. Oh. And I'll get um, some of my favorite inspirations that I've been kind of saving. And I try to build like the hair, makeup, look. Into that. I think the scariest moment on a red carpet was about 20 seconds before I walked out into the Met Gala. A string of pearls just oh. fell on the ground. Still a great look. Still one of the best looks of that entire Met Gala. It was fantastic. And we all were like, <gasps> and I really thought my whole dress was gonna unravel. Like I could have sworn it. I was like, that's it. Pearls everywhere. I was like left pearls all over like the entryway. <laughs> it was a little bit dramatic. That's also, you know, smart thinking. Listen, if the pearls go everywhere, somebody's bound to trip and then their look won't be as exciting or as good or they won't look as beautiful and stunning because they trip. So thinking of how can I knock the competition in my mind. <laughs> I will say, thankfully I did not unravel. I think I have a lot of fashion icons. Okay. I think like Drew Barrymore, okay. Rose McGowan, kind of like the 90s darlings. Fair, fair. I always go to. Um, a little Dina oh. Von Tees sometimes, Winona Ryder. I go for like the girlies that I look up to and I'll usually just have like a ton of saved photos 
and it really just depends on the vibe. I do not have a constant thing I look for in a red carpet. Is this a boucle? And that's she has a little black texture, a boucle, a little, it just has a little bit of a curl to it because the fabric is curly, which is why we can see that texture. That's my business, but most and of it looks the time, beautiful. it's a very structured But what dress, is the dress? I like to who make sure the waist is cinched. Nobody's telling me who the dress is by. Barbie, <laughs> Barbie. I know that you're a model, so you're not used to having to put the credits down. Vogue, that is not correct. Next up. This is my errands look. A Wednesday, a hump day moment. I understand that. It's Wednesday, do the errands, get it done. Off the top of my head, I'm seeing a little bit of a Margiela tabby ballet sling back sort of shoe moment, a little corset situation, a spiral jean. This I'm intrigued. Day to day, cute little moment in LA. You know what I mean? Just like a little song. Wow, the LA girls really it's do it differently. These pants are Tyler McGilvery. Okay, Tyler and McGilvery. These earrings are Mud Pearl. The Mud Pearl brand is very cool. I'm very into it. I've heard the name, but I only just do my Google. But it essentially is like weird pearlescent styles, but they're essentially, it's almost like those things were turned into pearls. So like a cross can be turned into a pearl or like a little line instead of it just being like a little orb, which I do think is really fun and different and not something that we usually see. So very intrigued and by the Mud Pearl. the shoes are Margiela's. We switched the shoe. I'm confused. This is not the Margiela's that we just saw. These are Mary Jane, similar, but not the same. I like to wear pearls a lot, whether it be in my hair, earrings, okay. anyway, necklace. So let's go put on some mud pearl. Oh, we really do like a mud pearl moment. One. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I like the spiral in the pan, oh, I, I have to say. Very chic, very cute. Cute. I like the different oh, colors very... in it, very nice. I love a corset. I've always loved a corset. I used mm -hmm. to thrift a lot of them. And I used to pair them with sweatpants. You know? It's worth a try. That was just my thing. And now I wear them with real pants. <laughs> I try to make it a little, a little. I like this corset. I like the way that it's gathered. I feel like it's very sweet. I feel like it adds texture. It's not just your usual like boning texture, I think, with corsets that normally you see. I like Cute, it. Cute, but corsets are very fun. It's kind of casual, which is weird for a corset. And I don't mind a little compression. Everyday looks pretty much consist of recently a little ballet core. And I like some okay. silk bows. I like wearing like little socks too. And little ballet flats. I've gotten a lot of those recently. I hate a ballet flat, but I get it. Small shirt, big pants. Great okay. combo. Because pants, you kind of want to feel comfy. Mm -hmm. But then you can have a little crop at the top, you know, give a little, a little body. But you don't have to do that the whole time. So that's great. This look um, makes me feel like I'm in my Sex in the City era. Okay. Which is what I mean. Sex in the West Coast City. Yeah, you know, like I'm in Sex in the City. Like, it's realism, but like, is it? Yeah, I, that's the thing is like, it's a cool sort of, I'm going out and I'm dressing up because like, I can look cute while I do my errands. You know what I mean? Like I can go to the grocery store. This is like a cute car to the grocery store, back to the car, then to like the nail salon, back to the car, and then from the car to the dog park and then back to the car. That's kind of how the LA errand thing works. Okay. So this is my that. picnic Ooh. look. Okay, like a picnic. I like a knit. I love a knit dress, I have to say. It's like a little botanical garden look. <laughs> Okay, I'm into the botanical vibes. If I was going to a zoo, I would wear this. If I was going to a farmer's market, I would wear this. I love to play with color. I love a jewel tone and I also love a pastel. This is like, if I'm going to a picnic, I'm gonna make it very literal. Like I'm wearing flowers on my, on my dress and in my hair and all that stuff. So I like the little bun crochet cover. I don't think I've ever seen that before. The dress in and of itself is GCDS, obviously, which is an Italian brand. God can't destroy streetwear. Remember that time that somebody showed like three boobs on a runway? That was GCDS. It's a little bit campy. It's a bit Moschino-esque in that way. Very school girly, but like over the top and ridiculous. Do I like love the dress? No. Do I think it's interesting and different? Yeah. There's also been this return to like black shoes and white socks, white sort of high socks, also so sometimes just like a white ankle sock. But it seems to sort of have like that schoolgirl effect. I think the use of like the neon colors plus the bag is good. It makes sense. Again, I get it. Picnic, flowers, you know, nature. The little floral knit situation too makes sense. The yarn loops that come out, don't love as much. Maybe just a little bit too. Eh? Besides that, I get it. I don't love it. So this is my date night look. Love this. Cute. 
We have this a Joan Crawford. Top. We have a Vince skirt and some Shout out Kalina shoes. Estrada. We have a double earring from Margiela. I need Love. a bag. She's a big Margiela girl. Love that. Not like for the John Galliano effect, but like I do genuinely think Margiela is a great brand no matter who is there. Like the product is stunning, I have to say. Like I, I have a sweater. It's that like maroon sweater and sexy. I'd wear that to my grave. But I do actually like the very 1980s silky feel. The green against the purple is actually really, really nice with the white sort of shoe. Honestly, it has a very feminine feeling to it. I think maybe it's just the fact that it's skirt and it's silky with the nice sort of ruffled top. But at the same time, it has a sort of strength to it, whether it's the use of the color. It's very Daphne from Scooby-Doo, but less 60s, night. more 70s. Oh, that looks like I'm ready. a Sailor Moon accessory. This is kind of giving like Renaissance Fair, but in a cute way, I, I assume. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more like Joan Crawfordy, but I see what we're saying here. It's cute. Bag, maybe, I don't know if it makes sense with the look, but besides that, I think the look in and of itself is actually very cute, very sweet. You wouldn't know that the top and the skirt are two different brands. I'm sold on this one. So this is a look okay, so, oh, for a meeting. Hot, hot girl vibes, 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 hot girl vibes. Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic, I love this. This is stun, gorge, beautiful, it's iconic, obsessed. Kind of bratty school girl look. I'm a costume kind of girl, so like, you know, if I'm feeling like a little young professional, maybe I'll wear a little blazer. It has very like Sabrina the Teenage Witch to me. Besides feeling that, cute it. and kind of like New York City private school. That's what I will serve. So I think tights Barbie are Barbie for Gossip amazing, Girl season two. If it's a little chilly, you know what I mean? I also love the fact that the top is cropped, but it's not cropped just like flatly, but rather it sort of dips, sort of makes like an underwire effect, which I think really adds that like little je ne sais quoi to that piece. So the these shoes. are really amazing too. I like a little monogram tight. I like showing a little- Barbie, thing. tell me like who the shoes are by, because I feel like the shoes are Versace. They have that Versace look. The tights, I think, work here, very cute, adds to the whole element, and I think these are, I think that's a skirt, but I love it. I like showing a little skin. I've always liked- uh, Also the cuffs in the white, so good. Like a little, a little cut out or something. I love a glossy red lip with the silk bow. It just, I don't know, it's kind of Wednesday Adams grown up vibe. Maybe the tights are Fendi because I feel like that silk scarf looks Fendi-esque. Love. Okay, I just hate that nobody told us what we're wearing. Very upsetting for me. Saturday. Mirror Palais. Oh, okay, excuse me, Mirror Palais. Mirror Palais is actually a very, very cool up-and-coming brand. It's one of the sort of like Instagram brands, but at the same time, it's well done. It's not sort of like a super seasonal, oh, we're just going to make shit to like appease people this season. Beautifully designed, well done, smart. The shoes are Versace. The leggings... Givenchy. Shout out Mira Palais because that's a look and a half. This is a going out look. Love. Oh, Sunday. We're already here. It's almost over. Jesus. I like the cut of the dress, actually. I think the way that it fits is really, really well done. I think the very modular, circular, curvaceous motif is very intriguing. It looks like a Gaetano Pesce chair, which I like. A concert look. A karaoke look, dare I say. I love a turtleneck. I love a long sleeve. And I love like a slinky little bodycon moment. And love I that. love a boot that disappears. <gasps> the shoes, the shoes are great. The shoes are by Hanifa, who is an American designer. A lot of her work is more sort of towards curve styles and curve models and curve looks, which is really, really great. Her color work is fantastic. She has nice accessories too, evidently from the shoes. You can see that that's a thing. They almost look as if they're sort of a strappy pump, but they're not because it's a leather boot. But that little curved element at right before the toe area gives you the impression that, oh, maybe that's a pump, but it's not, which is cool. It appears into the dress. Yeah. So I don't have to shave my legs. <laughs> That part. Not that I have to, but you know. When I have friends over, I will put on like a little something, but then I'll slip into something a little bit more, you know, boom. And I believe Bam. the dress is Tyler McGillery. To go out. The bag. How can we forget a bag? Okay, let me go get my Bottega bag. Okay, Bottega girls. Uh, you know oh, I like the bubble weave with the sort of bubbly aspect of the motif on the dress. I like what's going on here. Bottega is youthful. It is the moment. It is very youthful. It is very I moment. never ask my friends what they're wearing because all my friends overdress. <laughs> That's because we're all from like New York. I love this look. 
Very solid, very cute. The shoes are good, the bag is good, the dress is good. That's it. Wow, that was a journey. Thank you for Thanks, taking Barb. a tour of my closet and I hope you enjoyed. Let's talk about a best and worst look. Worst look. I'm gonna give it to the GCDS dress moment. It wasn't horrible, it's just not my vibe whatsoever for a second. But as for the bat, oh, that's hard. I think I'm giving it to the Mira Palais with the Versace boot and the Givenchy legging. Like, that is hot. Like, give her season two, Gossip Girl, reboot, roll. Cause like, Constance, we need. This is what the Constance uniform should look like at all times, always. It's what it should have always looked like. HBO crossover, but good and solid and no singing. That's really helpful when we do a crossover. I'm sold on the Mira Palais moment, but I like doing this video. I think it was really cool. I think it was interesting. It's nice to see Barbie sort of dressing style. It's not, you know, designer, designer, designer. It's more sort of like cultivated young brands, up and coming sort of styles. And then there's that little nice designer element thrown in, whether it's a Fendi or a Versace or a Bottega, it's cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, check out Karma, click the link in the description box below. I will see you guys on the next video and TTYL.